This video is sponsored by OWC. Microsoft has just announced that Fortnite is available through its Xbox Cloud Gaming service, which means iPhone and iPad users can play Fortnite for free with just a Microsoft account. Fortnite is the first free-to-play game that has been added to Xbox Cloud Gaming, which is still available in a beta capacity. Xbox Cloud Gaming is available in 26 countries, and Fortnite can now be played on Android, smartphones, and tablets, and Windows PCs in addition to iPhones and iPads. So, all you have to do is head over to xbox.com play and add Xbox Cloud Gaming to your home screen. Then, you'll want to launch the home screen app, and of course, you'll need to sign into your Microsoft account. You'll then see Fortnite available right there at the top to play for absolutely free. You'll need to link your Epic's game account during the initial launch, but once you do that, you'll have Fortnite up and running on your iPad like I do here in absolutely no time at all. As far as gameplay goes, we actually did an entire video highlighting how Xbox Cloud Gaming works on an iOS or iPadOS device. And while I do think there is still a small amount of input lag like I had in previous testing, uh, which definitely has an effect more on shooter games like Fortnite, unfortunately, I was able to actually navigate and operate my character pretty well at times, uh, all things considered. I thought gameplay was pretty much up to par with playing Fortnite on GeForce Now, which is NVIDIA's uh, cloud gaming service that launched a few months ago. We actually did an entire video on that service as well, uh, but for those with a Microsoft account, this is a great option to play Fortnite on an iPhone or iPad. Now, this is actually my preferred way to play games. Um, I'm clearly using an iPad. I like that big display so that I can just get more of an immersive gameplay experience, uh, but I also have it hooked up to an Xbox Elite controller via Bluetooth. This is ideal in my opinion, but if you want it to play on the go and you don't want to bring a controller with you, there are obviously touch controls that you can use when you're playing on your iPhone or even on your iPad. Of course, I'd love to know your thoughts on everything in the comments down below. Uh, you know, ever since Apple banned Fortnite from the App Store, there have been um, only one way to kind of get that back, and that was through NVIDIA's GeForce Now, which I just mentioned earlier. But now we get it through Xbox and Microsoft's cloud gaming service. So of course, let me know in the comments what you think of this so far. Now, before we end today's video, I do want to give you more information from today's sponsor, OWC. If you're in the market for a Thunderbolt 4 cable, I would definitely avoid grabbing one from Apple directly as the prices for its cables are astronomical. Thankfully, OWC has you covered with three different sizes at three affordable price points. You can get a cable ranging anywhere from less than a meter in size to two meters in length, and of course, from $24 all the way up to $57. These cables are certified safe for 100 watts of charging, up to 40 gigabytes per second in performance, and 100% compatible across all platforms charging docks, displays, and even other devices. So for more information about these cables or anything else that OWC has to offer, be sure to click the link in the description down below. This has been Dan with Mac Rumors. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope to see you around in the next video.